here we are the 5th of April I've just finished planting leeks out I uh, still haven't cleaned the 5 litre pots that they've come out of they're still down the footpaths but I thought I'd do a quick video before the battery runs flat this is just an overall view of the four trenches uh, I've grown um, well there's more than four varieties in but there's four main varieties what I'll do I'll go down the rows and show you the different individual plants right bed number one uh, these are DN ones Dennis not all number one it was a seedling from 12 months ago uh, very nice seedling it was a large one it was reasonable well it was pretty good quality I do think it's capable of winning quite a few shows I've started off on all the trenches with the small ones at this end uh, as I said I didn't want to plant all big leeks I've still got large leeks left in the greenhouse but you don't put all your eggs in one basket so I've started off with the small ones at this end um, this particular leek was crammed in on the greenhouse and it has started to pull a little bit in length so I'm only hoping that they're not too long hopefully as they start growing in here they'll split their buttons and drop back themselves but these are the smaller ones uh, these haven't been potted up in a five litre pots that long but they're looking quite nice I'll just move along the row you can see the change from the smaller one up to larger plants these particular plants are about six inches around at the present moment uh, they are on the large side but having said that there's quite a few bigger leaks knocking around the circuit uh, my biggest was about seven inches but they're looking quite reasonable nice long foliage on it one thing I have noticed since I've pulled them out all the top foliage is very clean because when I spray I just spray overhead and let the um, very fine mist settle down on the plants and it hasn't got to the lower foliage for the simple fact they were crammed into the greenhouse so the bottom flags the bottom two flags on most of the leeks have got a little bit of thrip damage uh, I'll go around tonight and spray down here um, make sure that I, I get straight on top of it I don't want it spreading so this is the DN1 and they're all looking fairly decent moving on to the next bed these are virus free um, the first six in the trench down to here these are leaks that have come from the laboratory this year beautiful and clean as you can see that's showing you there's no virus in them this is the Cumbrian um, the Cumbrian is renowned because of its virus but these have come away very well not forgetting I didn't get these plants until about the 17th of December I believe uh, they have grown very well moving along these are plants that was from my own grass from stock I had two years ago again beautiful and clean no signs of any virus in it just one or two signs on the lower leaves of um, a little bit of thrip now in case anyone doesn't know what thrip damage is they can just see these odd white marks on them that's where the thrip have had a little bit chew on the leaf so I'll have to get straight onto that so these are virus free plants and they're looking quite reasonable and again as we get further back you can see the larger plants in there and then I've dropped on the late set ones these are the ones I've had the collars on to stretch them up because it is a short leak all the larger plants are fairly short these ones I've had collars on I've just taken them off you can see the difference where they, they're white uh, where they've been blanched they've had collars removed from them So I'm quite happy with those. Moving on to this one, um, I'm going to move in. Well, it doesn't matter which side the bed I go from. Uh, the first five in here, I believe, are GSN. GSN is a difficult league to put on the bench. It's won the national a couple of times. Brian Boucher was fourth in the national with it. Um, could have been higher, but there was a slight mark on the the button which stopped them from winning that otherwise it would have been three in a row it's a superb leak very very good quality um, probably the best I've seen but one of the worst to put on the bench it is very brittle you can see by the little cracks in the leaves here it is brittle uh, it does split easily and that's its main fault uh, if we could get away from that it would be a superb leak now two year ago or a year year back I had a seedling from it which um, was identical to the parent and here it is 
uh, very soft foliage I've called it the new Cumbrian uh, these are the smaller ones at this end moving along the row again it's a very nice looking leak uh, it wasn't a big leak it was only 14.7 inches around uh, just a nice length five and a half but it was beautiful quality uh, even better than the Cumbrian in my eyes and I assessed that it was capable of winning the national so I thought I'll definitely seed it so these are looking very nice as you can see it's got everything that we're looking for in leaks nice broad foliage good flag count lovely color very straight in the barrel lovely twist to the foliage this is what we're looking for this twisting up the center that's a good sign of growth it's on all of them and they've just been planted out and watered but they were like that even in the pots so that's the new Cumbrian I'm gonna move along to the last trench right a little bit of a mixture in here uh, usually this is an onion bed but uh, I have put leeks in it because I've got that many new varieties I wanted to grow so this is the Betty it's not a new leak it's uh, been on the circuit quite a while just move along here this, I only grew uh, five plants and I was growing these for heavyweights so I'm not worried if these go long uh, I'll actually add a little bit to the, the overall weight if I can get a good length on them so this is the Betty Black one more there it has a tendency to go along the Betty but it is a decent leak uh, slightly wedged but uh, never mind they are for heavyweights now I grew, grew some of Peter Carey's um, blue leak with the view of growing them on for heavyweight again Peter's got some superb plants mine haven't done so well uh, one or two had funny centers in them which uh, I haven't liked and one or two I've got this yellow streaking up in the foliage but because it's for heavyweight I thought I'll still grow them I'm only putting three in I'll be honest that's them um, and then moving on we have another new leak here the DN2 this was a seedling Dennis had two years ago uh, so we named them one and two again a fairly large leak very round uh, nice and straight another good leak a very large leak and hopefully a very good one for the CIU shows so again I put the smaller ones in this end and as we move along some of the larger plants are at the far end and as you can see there's some fairly decent plants in here as well again They've all got nice clean foliage apart from the little bit of thrip damage on the bottom foliage which I will get on top of with the sprayers. So that's the state of play. Um, they've all been well watered in. Some of the polythene is new. Some of it is um, just that I've washed off from last year. If you take particular note here, this is Billy Reed's system where he cuts a little V out. Underneath there I have lay flat drip hose. Uh, the lay flat drip hose is in every bed. Um, last year I did this because I had leaks growing in this particular bed and I felt that the ones at the, this end weren't getting enough moisture so I cut that little V in and I just roll those back and water into there as well and the roots from the main plant will pull over some people were, well even this morning I've been asked um, do you put tubes down to feed your plants I don't because you're opening the roots up to the cold evenings that we get uh, so I don't, I leave the plants completely covered with the polythene as you see just water from the lay flat and I water in around the plants so that's the state of play um, I'll continue to show you the progress maybe every couple of weeks and we'll see how things go Blanche leaks I'll start with maybe in a week's time um, getting those ready for planting out thanks a lot now bye bye